What's up everybody, Saber Wolf 94 with a Kindra EX game today, once again. Uh, we're going to try him one more time. Uh, so far, the previous games, I've come close in both of them. If we had a little more luck, uh, we would have won a little more. Some better hands would have helped. We had some pretty mediocre hands in both of them, but weird hands. Uh, let's see if this time we're going to be able to do it finally. Just set up Magnuson quickly and get the necessary energies to just get one hit knock us with Kindra. You really gotta get one hit knock us with this guy since he also gives two prizes unlike Raikou. So yeah, gonna open up with Kindra. Uh, pretty decent as always. Uh, he's gonna be able to attack early when we open with him. Softening up the dudes. Should be pretty good. And he's gonna get rid of stadiums if my opponent is using that. So my opponent is gonna open up with the Shining Mew. Uh, this is probably the first time I've seen this, and this is actually pretty interesting. With only 30 HP, since I can attack really quickly with Kindra, I'm looking. I'm, I'm in a position where if I just get a Fury Belt or even use something like Kukui, I can get a pretty quick knockout on this dude before he even does anything. Uh, since he's playing first, he can't attack. So if next turn I manage to get like a Fury Belt, he's basically gonna would have given me a free prize for nothing. Because this Pokemon will likely die, uh, but your opponent is banging on, is hoping on the effect, hoping on that, ga gambling on, how can I say that? He's going to use the attack at least once, grab two energies. Uh, he's betting on he's going to get two energies first and then I die. And then he dies. Otherwise, it's just completely for nothing. And he's also going to be using the Celestella. Uh, if I fucking said that right, I need to read the card again. Don't remember. Uh, Celestila, whatever. Kind of a cool Pokemon. Uh, it's not going to be that great against me, but it's good for me. It's also going to be one of the easier Pokemon to get a one-hit knockout. I mean, it's still a pain with 200 HP, but uh, it's not your 220, 210, 240, you guys know. So unfortunately, I did not manage to get the knockout, so my opponent is going to get the free prize, the, the free energies, but at least, uh, you know, this thing probably is going to die next turn, whether I'm set up with Magnezone or not. We can just do 20. Alright, uh, so my opponent has already brought out the Trash Lance Garbodor. That Pokemon is probably going to be the biggest pain in the ass. That Pokemon can just do too great of damage, man, for just one energy late game. But I guess that's why it's being used. It's a good Pokemon. And there's also the Drampa GX down. It probably isn't that big of a problem either. A 180 HP Pokemon. It's going to be easier for us to get a one-hit knockout, aim for one-hit knockout on it. So at least my opponent is using some Pokemon that might not give me too much trouble of knocking on in one hit. It's going to make my life a little easier with the energies. So he's going to attach the Psychic Energy to Mew. Going to use Legendary Guidance. Might as well get the one uh, energy search off. Since he's using it, since he opened with it. That's the point of the Shining Mew. Shiny Mew. I'm not going to call it Shining. I don't like that. Okay, it seems he's going to favor the... Well, he attached energies to both of the guys. Not the Garbodor yet. I guess it makes sense. You can just put one energy on that thing any time he likes. I'm not sure if you have to spread the energy. I think you can attach it anywhere you like. But it seems he decided to put one on each of them. On each of the GXs. I guess all they need is one DC to start to get going. So I'm going to attach the water energy. We got a pretty, once again, not the greatest hand, man. That just forces me to not be able to do shit. Hopefully we get something from the prizes. I do have the Magnezone and the Rare Candy, but no Magnemites. And, you know, if at least I get the Magnezone out, we can just use all the energies and not necessarily the energy retrieval, but it is what it is. And I got the Nest Ball from the prizes, so I guess that can grab us a Magnemite next turn, though. So I'm going to be pretty slow. But it seems he's not ready to attack to, oh no, wait, he put the DC. I thought he put a regular energy on the dude. So he's going to use Berserk. Fortunately, he doesn't get the plus, but I'm in a pretty dangerous situation here. Kindra is going to die. 
So we're gonna grab Magnemite with one Nest Ball, and should I grab another one just to be safe, since we got both the dudes? Seems I might grab. Seems I'm going for another Kindra here. Interesting. All right. So yeah, since Kindra is gonna die probably next turn. I mean, if it doesn't, it's gonna be perfect. But it probably will. So I'm gonna do 20. Uh, it's gonna be pretty good. Even easier to get a one hit knockout on the Dram Panel. And I guess if it's damage, it's one hit one hit knockout. But you guys know what I mean. All right. And he put the fucking rainbow energy or whatever that special energy is. So he's going to be able to do 150. Kindred did die. Yeah, not that surprising. Uh, we drew Magnazone. That's not that great. I already had one. Would have been good if I saw like an energy or something. Or a fury belt. But I think we might be able to get the job done still since I have energy retrieval. I'm going to grab the water energy. And... Yeah, I just have just about enough. Uh, I'm going to have to attach everything on the Kindra, but we're going to get a knockout. That is the important thing. So, yeah. It's going to be 170. I'm going to be doing 170, and that is enough with the softening to, dramp to, to kill Drampa GX. So you guys can see that little... Soft damage Kindra can do with Big Storm can really matter. Like I've said, uh, setting up Pokemon like that is important. Being able to attack early is pretty good. Even if it's not like Buzzle GX damage, whatever you can do early, like even if it's 1 for 20, can make a big difference. You, you, take, you completely take advantage of the fact that you are able to attack from the first turn you can attack, uh, if that makes sense. So I managed to get that guy out of the way, and I'm not that bad, I've gotten three prizes so far, so we only need to kill another GX Pokemon, and probably the Garbodor, and we should be pretty good. Uh, the only problem is, once again, my hand is in this kind of weird position, and my opponent is going to end too, that sucks real ass, I'm only going to get three cards, uh, you can see end fucking with us, in this case. Let's see, hope I get something good, and we top deck. We got the, the Layla, has perfect. I couldn't ask for anything more, to be honest. So, I'll be able to add a Sycamore next turn. But my opponent is going to Trash Lanch, and only did 100 damage. That's excellent, man, it's perfect. And I'm looking pretty good, to be honest. Uh, we're going to play the... Uh, Tapu Lele, gonna grab a Sycamore for sure, there's no way I'm not gonna get a Sycamore, and I wonder if I can use the Heavy Ball for something, I mean, we probably won't, we're just gonna, there's nothing to add, I mean, the only thing would be to add a Magnezone for, to get discarded, to thin the deck, but I probably need uh, one more, just in case. So I'm going to use the Field Blower, get a nice plus here, get rid of both of the Float Stones on the Garbodors. He might be running the Garbotox and Garbodor still, so, you know, that's good. And going to start setting up the other Kindra EX with the Lightning Energies. I probably, uh, there's probably no way to save uh, this Kindra. What I should have done probably maybe is attach... Attach them to Raikou, retreat, and use the energy retrieval, and maybe attack with Raikou. But I think I wasn't going to, uh, no, I was going to get the knockout. So that was really sad. I probably had a better play here. Uh, we could have gotten the knockout with Raikou here. So, yeah. But still, you know, I, I'm still in a pretty good position. I'm still in a pretty nice position here. And it's going to promote... The Tapu Lele GX. And that's very, very good for me. Because, man, all we need is a choice ban. And we, we get the knockout on that thing. Perfect. So I'm looking very good. I probably would have been better off if I used Raikou to attack. Uh, with the combo that I just mentioned. Retreating Kindra. 
and then attaching four energies on the Raikou with the retrieval instead of putting them on the other Kindra. And I would have had a knockout. I mean, I don't even need four. You just just three was going to be necessary for the fucking Garbodor since it had 110 HP. So right now we're going to... What am I doing here? Let's see. We have to promote somebody. And yeah, I'm going to have to go with the Kindra. We will be able to attack, but not necessarily get a one-hit not god. So what I'm going to aim here to do is I'm going to energy retrieval, grab the necessary shit, put two on the Kindra, then we're going to Sycamore, and hope to god I see like basically one more energy. We just need one more, and we get a knockout here. If I just grab one energy from the Sycamore... Uh, we're at 29 cards. It's not that unreasonable. Uh, we should be able to do it. Let's see what I'm going to do. And I made a pretty fucking ass move here, as you guys can see. Uh, oh no, wait. He brought out the Garbodor. Right. So we won't be able to attack. Okay, so... Since he brought the Garbodor out with Garbotoxin and the Floatstone. Man, I got rid of two and he still had another one. What a bitch. Uh, that was a big mistake. Uh, I think I was, yeah, I was aiming for a Field Blower. And we didn't manage to do that. We didn't manage to get that. So I'm going to be forced to retreat once again. And no, it seems I decided to stay in attack. That was a pretty big mistake, man. I should have just retreated. Because uh, if he gets rid of the field blower, yeah, and with the choice ban, he's going to be able to get a one-hit knockout or some shit. Pretty risky stuff. Wow. All I need is a water energy and a field blower. And I've got game, basically. It's just, what is he going to do? That's the question. It seems he's debating as well what to do. Hmm. He attached a DCE. He can do a lot of damage uh, with four DCEs. I've got three energy on and the choice bed. But he's not going to get a knockout. I mean, he has to get the field blow or some shit. If he even runs that. Let's see. Pretty. It's a, it's a pretty 50-50 situation here. We both have kind of a chance. I'm put in a position here where I kind of need some pieces uh, to do my shit. And he needs a couple of pieces too. And he can win. And it's going to grab the Garbodor with the stretcher. Fucking pain in the ass Pokemon. And he's going to opt to use that dude, I'm pretty sure. Because it's a pretty big advantage. It's going to do so much damage. Look at all the damage it's going to do. 180. Wow, so... That's basically game here. Uh, if he uses a field blower, if he even has that, it's game. Uh, Kindra is going to die even if I retreat him. So, what are we going to do here? Uh, if I Scala for a field blower to attach all the energies I want, that means... Mm, interesting, interesting. Yeah, but we're going to have to grab the field blower with Scala, there's no choice here. Alright, so I'm gonna field blow my opponent, get rid of the choice ban and the float stone, the most important one. And I have no choice but to attack with Raikou, because if we don't, we're toast. Uh, there's no way. A Raikou's gonna have to get a knockout on these fucking Garbodor here. I'm gonna need four energies, and we won't. We don't have that. That's the problem. Damn it. So I'm put in a position where I'm thinking, okay, I'm probably gonna lose. Um, yeah, not good. I've got little choice though. So we're gonna attach lightning energies on the Raikou, and. Go for a Thunder Lance. 
Man, if only I had a Fury Belt right now. Unfortunately, you know, things are pretty serious. Okay. So, there's not much else to do. I'm gonna either put the choice ban on or save it, I guess. But, you know, we are gonna Thunder Lance here. I won't get the knockout. And my opponent will get a knockout next turn. And we're going to be forced to use something like Tap Lele. But it seems my opponent is going to Guzma anyway. So that's game. So good game. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys subscribe. Hope you guys leave a like. Share this with your friends. It seems once again Kinder was close. Uh, this was probably like the best game I had a chance on. And it wasn't enough it seemed once again. Finished the challenge here. But... Just wasn't enough. Poor Kindra. Uh, who knows? Um, I'm going to start using the Rayquaza, the shiny one. I managed to get get some. I'm going to explain how I got them uh, when I make the deck, when I show the deck. So we we'll probably won't use this anymore, but, you know, I tried. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed, like I've said, uh, Saber Wolf 4, and what's up?